Hello, my name is James Bellissimo. I'm town manager of Town of Berwick, and I'm here to provide a brief update on the manganese um, elevation that's in the, our water for their drinking water customers. Manganese level is currently at 0 0.4 milligrams per liter, which is over the 0 0.3 milligram per liter advisory level for young children. And it is under the 1.0 milligram liter advisory for adults. So at this time, we're recommending that young children switch to bottled water. And we have some available at the town hall and the fire station. I'll have more information on that in a bit. At 0 0.05, we can start seeing changes in color. And we've seen the level creep up over the past month or so. And at this point, uh, it's obviously very noticeable. Um, there's a couple fact sheets you can find online and I think we can provide the link here. And I can read a couple snippets from it. The US EPA recommends that infants up to six months of age should not be given water with manganese concentrations greater than 0 0.3 milligrams per liter for more than a total of 10 days per year, nor should the water be used to make formula for more than 10 days per year. Manganese is necessary for normal development, immune system function, digestion, and bone strength. However, too much exposure to manganese can cause, has the potential to cause a neurological effects. The US EPA health advisory level of 0 0.3 milligrams per liter and one milligram per liter for adults were set based upon typical daily dietary manganese intake levels. It's in foods, it's, in, it's, in, it's typically in, in water as well. So when you add that on top of everything you're eating, that's where the levels come from. So this does not imply that intakes above these levels would necessarily cause health problems. So as I mentioned, we have one gallon jugs that are available at the town hall Monday through Thursday, and they're available at the fire station, um, generally available unless they're on calls. We're supplying two at a time. We had a gracious donation from Poland Springs at a Hollis that donated 810 gallons. So we have, we have, we have some, uh, we have quite a bit but it is, it's still a limited amount. We have uh, over 900 uh, water customers. So, um, but if you need more, if you have a larger family or if you're supplying for multiple families, just give me a call and we can talk about pickup and what you need just to get us through this time at uh, 207-698-1101 extension 111. Um, just a quick update. We do have the, the town voters approved a $1.2 million bond and 247000 that has been forgiven already uh, thanks to the main drinking water program. We also received a $2.8 million earmark. We don't have that funding yet. We have been using the bond money for preliminary engineering and we've developed the project along enough to begin pilot testing for a pretreatment process. And that should begin in September. Hopefully we're hoping for September but fall at the latest this year. And once we know that the pretreatment, uh, once we pilot it and we know it works, we, then we can start construction on a permanent pretreatment process. And that timeline is expected to be 2023 or early 2024 to get that pretreatment in there. Um, and that's just one of the improvements that we're making at the plant. There are several others that have been identified over the years. And, and right now we have more resources than we've had to be able to make make the changes needed. Um, Summersworth upgraded their plant in 2005. We share the same engineer. We share the same water source. Um, so we're modeling the change, some of the changes after what Summersworth did. And we, we know that Summersworth does not deal with the same manganese issues that we've been dealing with. And uh, I'm available. And you can email me at townmanager at burkmain.org or you can call me at 207-698-1101, extension 111. Thank you.